My name is Phil Orchard and the service I was in was Merchant Navy and I was a radio officer. Yeah, the radio operator. Now, our job on the ship in convoy in the Atlantic was that uh, we did not keep continuous watch at all because the submarines could hear our receivers and therefore we kept a watch on the bridge with the captain and the mates on watch. Uh, we also did the coding and decoding so we knew everything that was going on and very close to those people at the whole time. And so you may find even that we know a lot more about than some others. And then and quite as well is the uh, secret side of it. And uh, the, the mates and the masters were more or less just learning the Morse code in those days. We were pretty good at it. And uh, so that'll give you a bit of an idea. And if an aircraft came, for instance, to call us, he'd say A, 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 which means I want to talk to you. And we would say K, which means go ahead. And we'd go ahead, not at the slow m speed that the mates might try to do. We go it fast as they did too, about 20 or more words a minute, just the same as you hear the Navy. And so that's the way it is. We knew the flags, we did the lot, and all the more and people on the bridge is handy too, more people to look out for something on the water we didn't want. And so that'll give you a bit of the idea and perhaps give you an idea of what we what we saw and the rest of it. Sometimes I've seen ships have been torpedoed one right next to us had the same cargo as we had. Everything that blew up, it did blow up. And I don't know how many lives would have been saved in that instance. And at that particular time, 